not scared of them. I'll put them down too. I like the enthusiasm, but there's too many for you to take on alone. Get somewhere safe and we'll divert their attention. Right. Whoever you are, thank you. I'll owe you for this. Bro. Jesus! Fuck! Fucking hell! Give yourself up! Make it fair shot here! I bet it's hit! just won't leave me alone, will they? Until you lose them, yes. Bagley has a certain charm about him. Head to cover! Are you okay? I'll be fine. But if the Kellys think I will take this lying down, I have news for them. I can fight dirty too. Hey, you know what? You're exactly the kind of person DedSec is looking for. You should join us. It's fun. Yes. I think we'll make a formidable team. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. You joining us is totally awesome. Welcome to DedSec. Yes, I'm ready to go bastard hunting with you lot. Brilliant. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. Sir, I need this, sir. She has a light machine gun, though. Good thing I didn't have to do that mission over again because the game free. This game has more bugs in it, man. Than anything, this game it seemed like it was rushed, just to try to make get ahead of the holiday season, get the start of the, you know, the holiday releases. That's the craziest time of the year for games. This time of the year.
There it is. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Okay, just like any other day. Some operatives have uniform access to certain restricted areas. Hold, okay. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Man, uh, close. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues, or this operation is a bust. Hey, 
Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You seem to know a lot more about him than the average person. Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. Huh. He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. I got this new project the director's presenting upstairs with the game industry. I can't wait to see it roll out. This is going to make our jobs that much easier and safer. Yeah. You don't think it's going to make certain uh, aspects of our job redundant, do you? Not a Everything chance. is proceeding on the record. Cast makes a head of his own. This door clearly requires a security pass. Great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. But I think he likes the power. You been Maybe there's too much. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I've dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Let's see it. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania, edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. So, looks like Cass has some issues to work through. It would have been nice if he had done that before he had to secure London. Yeah, well, Nigel was never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Ooh. Don't even joke about that. I don't even want to think about what Director Cass would do. Just, just make sure you get it done. Keep piling on the pressure. That's sure to help.
Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well. For one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. Oh, boy. <laughs> It's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention! A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to document breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit, Bagley. The catacombs, fam. Oh boy. Almost there. Of course. Shoot, man.
Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, God. That was close. They didn't hear the commotion at all. So you're gonna build a bunker down here, huh? Yeah. Persuasive. He's certainly efficient and cold blooded and fully committed to rolling out this Themis project. Not good news. I do not like this at all. Can't even understand you. What was that? Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.